now. Welcome to Newswatch 12 at 6. I'm Justin Betty. During the pandemic, many people were searching for things to do that are fun, but also allowed them to be socially distant. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson tells us about one sport that gained a lot of popularity, and that was still growing. Some travel by cars, some by ATVs. Or if you're Garth Heckendorf, you take both. It's just a good area to ride. Heckendorf lives in Mosini and runs the Harrison Hills ATV Club in the Northwoods. The idea to start the club came in 2002 when four friends got together, put an ad in the newspaper, and watched the club take off. Heckendorf's three friends remain a part of the club to this day, along with the 200 or so other members. There's been ups and downs. It grows. It declines. But lately, Heckendorf's seen a specific trend. With COVID going on, there's actually more people out riding trails than ever before because they can recreate and still be by themselves. You know, they're not in a group, but yet they are in a group. They're all on their own machines. And when they're on their machines, people tend to make a few other stops along the way, which Heckendorf says brings a lot of tourism funds to the area. ATV brings a lot of revenue into the community. If you look at the various establishments up in this area, in towns, motels get filled up. They sell gas, um, grocery stores, the campgrounds are filled up. Eckendorf doesn't do it because he has to. He does it simply because he enjoys it. And so do a lot of other people, apparently. At Irv's Sales and Service in Tomahawk, the store and their location in Marshfield saw a 30% increase in sales in the past year. The demand for UTVs and ATVs just skyrocketed. Owner Mandy Witt and her family enjoy the sport, too especially since it was one of the few things that could be done safely during the pandemic. Once COVID hit, demand went through the roof just because people decided that they wanted to get out. They had to stay put, obviously stay home, but they wanted to get outside and get outdoors. Demand was high, but supply couldn't keep up. And Witt says the supply chain is only just starting to heal. It's been a struggle to get machines. Once it comes in, it's already sold. It doesn't even make it to the showroom floor because people are pre-ordering their machines now. With demand showing no signs of slowing down, both Heckendorf and Witt expect the sport to keep growing. Reporting for Newswatch 12, I'm Morgan Johnson. Outside, Jeff, another hot summer day. Yeah, temperatures near 80 out there now and the pavement is dry, but that will not be the case this time tomorrow as we have several rounds of showers and storms in the forecast throughout the day tomorrow. Temperatures out there now, though, we like this. It feels like summer. It's 80 in Rhinelander, 83 for Wausau, 80 for Stevens Point. We'll take it. Tomorrow highs near 80 as well, uh, but some rain cool there in there, too, and then some thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. All right, speaking of storms, here we are in parts of western Wisconsin right there. You see them a little narrow band of storms that are falling apart as they work in our direction but still a couple of these will likely hang on together tonight uh, bring a couple rumbles of thunder across Northwoods this evening and make for a beautiful sunset in there as well that's the not the main event though the main event though is way over here that's going to bring us several rounds of showers and storms tomorrow any of those could be strong to locally severe across parts of central Wisconsin especially around four five six o'clock tomorrow evening our forecast then for tonight though is probably cloudy skies at low temperatures Temperatures down near 61. Your full forecast is coming up, Justin. All right, thanks, Jeff. Aspirus Healthcare facilities across the UP and northern Wisconsin relaxed some of their COVID-19 visitor policies starting today. Previously, patients could only have a single designated visitor with very few exceptions. Starting today, you can now have any two adults with you for support. But instead of having to come in and have a dedicated visitor listed on the patient's chart, we just have two visitors at a time in the patient's room. Wicklander says Aspirus based this decision on the relative level of COVID infections in their service area, as well as vaccination rates across the state, saying Aspirus is focused on protecting their patients and their providers. The biggest factor for us as we continue to open up uh, is really dependent on how well we do with vaccination. So again, as we continue to get higher and higher levels of vaccination, I think the state uh, is sitting probably 50%, you know, so we're, you know, 52%. So as we continue to move that maybe up into the 70, 80 percentile, I think you'll see a lot of these restrictions start to, to be released. Worth noting, a little bit increasing by a fraction of a percent per day over the last few weeks. Rick Lander says any Aspirus walk-in clinic can get you vaccinated same day with your choice of vaccine. You head to Aspirus.org for more information on exceptions and their safety precautions.
The pandemic canceled many events over the past year and a half, leaving artists unable to show their work. However, starting Thursday, they will get another opportunity. The 56th Manitou Art League Art Show is back in Manitouish Waters Community Center. Almost 200 pieces of art looking to either, you can look at it, you can buy them, you can contribute to their scholarship fund. Previously, we've had probably double the amount of artwork for display. They have to all be original pieces that have never been shown before in a gallery or another show. Some of the artists in the show are locals. Others come from hundreds of miles away, and there is no theme, so there's a wide variety of pieces to admire. There's woodworking, there's wood turning, but then there's also some very fun contemporary abstract pieces. There's ceramics of all different styles. So I feel like almost anyone can find something inspiring here. The art show is open to the public beginning Thursday, July 15th. That's this Thursday through the 18th from 9 until 4 each day. Perhaps the biggest Northwoods Art Festival will be coming to Eagle River this weekend. The 49th annual Artorama kicks off at 9 Saturday morning in Riverside Park, brings over 100 artists from all over the country to this one-day event. There's also live music, food, silent auctions, and the money raised from the event goes back into the Eagle River Arts community. Summertime sees parks across the nation filled with many kids enjoying playground equipment and other fun things. Well, now there is a new, they're hoping to build, an inclusive park in our region so that no child gets left out. We'll talk about that in a few minutes, but first, Jeff's in with your full forecast, including some storms maybe moving through tomorrow. We'll have details after the break. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. It took us years to find the perfect bun for Culver's Pretzel House Pub Burger. It's got the nice pretzel flavor on the outside, but when you open it up, it's light and airy. It's got a nice sweet flavor to it. It literally melts in your mouth. This bun is perfect for a pretzel house pub burger. Seared fresh beef, tangy mustard bistro sauce, pickled red onions, two slices of bacon, served with our signature cheddar cheese sauce. This bun was made for this burger. This is perfect. I think it's an awesome burger. Welcome to Delicious. Whether it's for work or play, you want a truck. A truck that'll get the job done right. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs. Over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, can be purchased online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. A nursing home promises to care for our parents as cherished loved ones. But if your parents have been injured in a nursing home, we can help. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. The historic Rhinelander Cafe and Pub in downtown Rhinelander has been serving the Northwoods since 1911. With 32 craft beers on tap and supper club staples, Friday fish fry and Saturday prime rib, the Rhinelander Cafe and Pub also features more modern dishes like truffle fries and flatbread pizza. The large dining room provides plenty of space for an intimate surf and turf dinner or a family gathering over pasta. Stop in and enjoy a landmark in downtown Rhinelander, the Rhinelander Cafe and Pub on Brown Street. The reason I'm here is because of my wife. His singing got me through brain cancer. He's gonna fall in love with you. Let's go! Tonight, two SEC powerhouses face off. It's where we separate the weak from the strong, the smart from the less smart, the cups from the pace. It's unclear whether that was an insult. Capital One College Bowl, tonight on NBC.
let's start here. The temperature results are in for June, and June came back as the fifth warmest June on record. That's land and ocean temperatures globally. So on this map, red's above average and blue is below. Certainly a lot more red against blue on this map. All right, today another above average day because temperatures love sunshine this time of year with highs back in the low 80s for much of the area today. Uh, but now there are some clouds off to the west of us, and we could see a thunder shower before we go to bed tonight. But temperatures are still holding at 80 in Rhinelander with a west-southwest breeze at 7, and the pressure is falling at 30.01. Over in Wausau, it's still 83 for you with a west wind around through 11 or so, and the pressure there at 29.98. Okay, so everyone's having an above average or at least near average day today. Tomorrow, same story with highs back up near 80, then a cool day followed by a return turn of some heat back in the forecast Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, upper 80s are holding in the forecast for Sunday and Monday. So get ready. It's going to get hot again around here again after high temperatures in the 70s on Thursday. And this is the long range trend. So here we are now. Look at the dates. July 20th through basically the end of the month, right? Above average temperatures here, below average temperatures here. That's strange, right? Uh, but that should keep us firmly above average to the end of the month, which should mean lots of 80s for us on the way. Looking outside now, lots of clear skies throughout the day today, but look off to the west with a little narrow band of thunder showers right through there. Nothing strong, nothing severe, but they are weakening as they move in this direction, but they're probably going to hold together through parts of the Northwoods tonight, Vilas County, Price County for sure. So maybe a thunder shower before bed this evening, then we dry out overnight tonight, and then we have issues tomorrow, especially throughout the day. Uh, we're talking afternoon tomorrow through about this time tomorrow evening. This thing is going to really get its act together, move in our direction. That could cause some severe weather across the Midwest tomorrow, which has a bullseye right across central Wisconsin. So for now, it doesn't look like much. There it is, I know. Uh, but it's going to tap into a whole bunch of moisture tomorrow. A lot of unstable air across Wisconsin, uh, kicking a jet stream in there as well. And we have our highest threat for severe weather so far this year across central Wisconsin tomorrow as this thing kind of moves in our direction. Uh, with instability across the area. So here we are. We're watching this area uh, for tomorrow for the potential for some severe weather. We're all in this. However, it's kind of centered on central Wisconsin, even southern Wisconsin at that, uh, with potentially some damaging wind gusts and some large hail in there tomorrow. In fact, here's the timing. So there's that little band coming through tonight and then increasing clouds tomorrow morning. And by 4 or 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, these will all be locally strong to severe thunderstorms across the area, and they'll continue for several hours into tomorrow evening. Our forecast then for tonight, though, is probably cloudy skies. A rogue thunderstorm cannot be ruled out, especially Vilas County, Price County, with a muggy low temperatures down here 61 for tomorrow. All right, so the morning looks pretty good. Then afternoon showers and storms, locally strong to severe. Damaging wind gusts cannot be ruled out tomorrow uh, with high temperatures up near 80. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwest Furniture Metro shows a couple storms lingering into Thursday morning. Then sunshine Thursday afternoon and lots of sunshine Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday with highs back in the 80s. Justin. All right, thanks, Jeff. Playgrounds are a popular spot for families to spend time with their kids, especially in summer months. But for some families, accessibility can become an issue. Now, one group in Tomahawk is making sure everyone can have a day at the park. News Watch 12's Georgina Fernandez reports. Hold on tight. Here we go. Watching the excitement on my kids' faces when they say, let's go to the park or let's go to the really cool park. A playground can be a place of magic, but for some Northwood families, a day at the park can mean sitting on the sidelines. If you have a child that is utilizing a walker or adaptive equipment to get around for mobility purposes, it would be really difficult for that child then to play with other children. Now Tomahawk is set to become the first town in North or Central Wisconsin to have an inclusive playground. Featuring a wheelchair ramp, music components, and a sensory friendly structure. While a playground like this one might be limited, who can enjoy it? The new park would be a perfect place for children of all abilities to have a place to come together and play. To having equipment that you can for example, wheel a wheelchair onto a merry-go-round versus having to take a child out of a wheelchair and place them on. But it's not just children who get to play. 
Organizers say it's a multi-generational structure for the whole family to enjoy. Parks are for children, but parents come with their children and maybe a parent or a grandparent that may have some type of a disability can participate with their grandchildren in the park like most people do. So nobody has to sit on the sidelines again. It gives adults that are utilizing adaptive equipment more freedom to play with their children or grandchildren as well. In Tomahawk, Georgina Fernandez, News Watch 12. And the group hopes to break ground, break ground on construction for this new playground this fall. Temperatures continue to hit record highs across much of the western United States. There's also a bunch of wildfires that continue to burn out that way. We'll take a closer look at some of those after the break. You like it made from scratch? We know you do. How about hot and hand-breaded? That looks crispy. First thing in the morning. Not your grandpa's biscuit. The new hand-breaded chicken biscuit from Hardee's. Feed your happy. Take advantage of Cellcom's sizzling summer savings, July 16th through the 25th. Save $400 on select smartphones when you trade in your current smartphone. Restrictions apply. Visit cellcom.com slash summer for details. Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio has designed beautiful and functional kitchens and baths in the North Woods. When helping plan your dream kitchen or bath, with in-home consultation available, they provide 3D drawings of your spaces to bring your visions to life. With over 30 years of experience together, Sarah and Danny have overseen 500 plus projects. Whether it's a new home or a remodel, Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio in Eagle River looks forward to making your dream kitchen or bath a reality. I'm not just treating patients. I'm taking care of my neighbors. Through bad colds and broken bones. I'm always on their side when things get tough. So when you ask me, do I trust the COVID-19 vaccines? My answer is yes. My answer is yes. My answer is yes. My answer is yes. The COVID-19 vaccines are safe and getting one is important. Ask your family doctor what they think. Land O'Lakes, Wisconsin is calling your name. Our growing community is ideal for a getaway or even a new place to live. Adventurous types can find thrilling ways to explore the outdoors, while others soak in the serenity of nature. Families can ride bikes through picturesque trails or check out the quaint library while golfers hit the green. Take a stroll through our charming downtown and dig in to decadent supper club fair. Land O'Lakes has everything you need to LOL. Live out loud, that is. Straight from the source, Lake Nokomis Cranberries in Eagle River features award-winning cranberry wines. Visit the gift shop for a wine tasting and browse the large assortment of cranberry-themed products. Marsh tours are offered summer through fall. Visit the website for details. Hardee's. Celebrate this summer with the new BLT Ranch Angus Thick Burger from Hardee's. Feed your happy. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. Close to 60 wildfires are burning out of control across the west right now, sparked and fueled by heat waves, what forecasters are calling a mega drought, leading some to worry about what might come next. Jay Gray has details. Dozens of wildfires continue to rush across at least 10 western states right now. The fire was moving so fast and so hot that it was exploding spot fires ahead of it, way ahead of it, like a gunshot. The intense and fast-moving fires chasing thousands from their homes. We got out, we got out in time. I looked in my rearview mirror and the flames passed over the road and headed down my driveway and... Uh, burn both sides of my property and six dwellings. Tens of thousands of acres have been swallowed by the flame. Severe heat creating a tinderbox across the region. Dried brush and timber fueling the massive fires that crews usually don't see until the heart of the wildfire season. Normally we see fire behavior like this in these big fires, not until August or September. High winds adding to the danger for response teams. We have to be very careful about we, where we insert crews um, to make sure they don't get trapped. 
The flames also threatening power lines, prompting officials in California to ask residents to voluntarily conserve energy during the cooler evening hours. Feel the freedom of the open road this summer. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg has your keys to adventure. We're giving away the keys to a hot new Ford Ranger Lariat in July, along with buckets of cash, a tailgate package, a camping package, and a patio package. Summer doesn't get any better. Grab your bestie and play your favorite game. While you play and have fun, earn entries all month long. Get entered today, because on Saturday, July 31st, we'll hand out the keys to the new Ford Ranger and lots of cash and prizes. Find your keys to adventure at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Accidents happen, and when they do, demand the best. At Shimkus Auto Body, we believe in quality work. Our certified technicians have years of experience and care about your car. At Shimkus Auto Body, you know you'll be dealing with a company that's been in business for over 30 years. We're so proud of our work that we've put our family name right on the door. Shimkus, a name you can trust. It's time to invest in care. I care for seniors and people with disabilities so that they can live in their homes. That lets their families go to work. Joe Biden's American Jobs Plan will give working families the support they need and jumpstart our economy. It's better wages and benefits and opportunities for caregivers who are disproportionately women, women of color, and immigrants. Tell Congress to pass Biden's plan and invest in care jobs now because care is essential. SEIU is responsible for the content of this advertisement. Up here, success depends on the choices you make. But I know I've got this. And when it comes to controlling his type 2 diabetes, my dad's got this too. With the right choices, you have it in you to control your A1C. And once weekly Trulicity may help. Most people taking Trulicity reached an A1C under 7%. And it starts lowering blood sugar from the first dose by helping your body release the insulin it's already making. Trulicity is for type 2 diabetes. It isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. It's not approved for use in children. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, changes in vision, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. Problems. Show your world what's truly inside. Ask your doctor about Once Weekly Trulicity. The Lakeland Gem Club welcomes you to their annual Gem and Mineral Show this Friday and Saturday at the Lakeland Union High School off Highway 70 West in Minocqua. Dealers will be offering mineral specimens from around the world, along with fossils, handcrafted jewelry, and lapidary supplies. Don't forget the rock candy. Enjoy demonstrations, speakers, door prizes, silent auctions, and kids' activities. His sessions will also be available. Admission and parking are free, so don't miss the fun. Keep pushing myself. During my senior year of college, I rose to number one in the world, and I never dreamed of that happening. As a freshman, I got thrown in, and truly that is what allowed me to make the 2004 Olympic team. The amount of people that have come through USC and the strong tradition that it has, you know what it means to be a Trojan. The Tokyo Olympics, brought to you locally on NBC by Nissan. Supporting college athletics across the country. Check out the size of this goldfish found in a Minnesota lake. The city of Burnsville tweeted it out as a warning not to just dump unwanted goldfish in lakes or streams because they can, first of all, reproduce rapidly, making them hard to remove. And they also, as they noted, they can grow a lot larger yeah. than you think. That's a huge goldfish. How big that is. Yeah. Okay, so for us, that goldfish is going to have plenty of water <laughs> to swim in tomorrow okay. as we have potentially some heavy rainfall on the way. Uh, to the west of us now with some clouds and a couple thunder showers are falling apart as they work our direction, but still, a rogue thunder shower cannot be ruled out tonight. That's not the main event. That arrives for us tomorrow, about this time tomorrow, through the afternoon or so, uh, for some severe weather, damaging wind gusts, heavy rainfall, maybe some large hail in there, but then it gets better in a really nice way. A couple of thunder showers early Thursday, followed by a fantastic weekend on the way Worth once again. If you catch a large goldfish or any other fish, send them in. We have big old fish on Fridays every time. <laughs> oh, a little cross promotion. Wheel of Fortune's next here on WJFW. <laughs>